it's so amazing to be here and to be amongst people who have suffered so much in their lives because they are ex-Muslims. Um, one of the most important things about CUMB is that you're able to actually meet people from the same background as you and to have solidarity with one another and to be told, actually, there's nothing wrong with you. you know, I left Islam almost seven years ago and it took me almost six years to finally find ex-Muslims. I spent years in isolation, feeling lonely and embarrassed of who I was. As was mentioned before, I grew up in a lot of religious education. I went to um, a school in Pakistan where I studied for a year and I studied Islam in, in Britain as well. And I, found, and I found my way out of it by using the internet, which is an incredible source. It's one of the, the main ways that ex-Muslims can find each other. Um, and I, and I would like to thank all of our, our supporters, and especially Mariam, because it is, it's, you know, when you're an ex-Muslim and you're completely by yourself and all you've got is a YouTube video, it's, it, can, it means so much to you. Um, I am quite saddened that a lot of the, the, the Muslim girls that I grew up in were never able to break out of the cycle of indoctrination. You know, I've tried to speak to them and see if they're willing to look beyond the education that they received where they were taught that homosexuality is a disease or that Islam is completely perfect and they can't challenge it. But so many of them are unwilling to actually challenge their society. So it's not just about ex-Muslims, it's about anyone who has to deal with indoctrination, with culture and tradition. I think together we can work to move towards a more free society. So I want to thank everyone for listening to me and for supporting me and it, it means it means the world. So thank you.